So last month I signed up for my first ever 2XU half marathon because I wanted to do something challenging like I wanted to set myself a goal for me to look forward to and doing the half marathon was something that I struggled a lot to commit to doing because I haven't exercised much um, I haven't ran much since Covid started in 2020 but after seeing several YouTube videos of people doing the half marathon or even a full marathon in less than two months I decided to take the plunge and to sign up for the half marathon and today I will be sharing with you my experience on what it feels like to run the half marathon as a complete running newbie. So I signed up for the half marathon in February and the run was in April. So this gives me exactly two months of time to start training. My initial plan was to run at least four times a week starting from three kilometers and you know subsequently increasing one kilometer every week. I completed my 3.2 pm run. I obviously didn't run every single 3.2 pm but still happy to have at least completed 3 km in I don't know 25 minutes. Yeah great job Jane for the first run. I haven't been running for the past few days because it's been raining non-stop. So I really don't want to continue postponing this any further, which is why I'm running. Yeah, hope to run about 5 kilometers today. Not too sure what happened in between, but I think because I haven't exercised for a very long time, I started to develop a lot of injuries along the way. The first was that I couldn't go beyond 4 kilometers without feeling my shin starting to cramp really bad and I started to develop a lot of heel pain and then within these two months I just felt like my injuries kept coming and going and I just felt like I couldn't break beyond the 5km mark so I decided to buy a pair of new shoes this ASICS Gel Nimbus 25 and let me just say this pair of shoes are so comfortable um, it feels so light and so bouncy that I think everyone should get a pair of it Early two weeks before the run, I started to develop some kind of a back strain and the back strain was hurting so bad I couldn't sit properly or even bend properly for the next few weeks. And so the day of my run finally came. I was initially thinking of pulling out because of my injuries that I developed along the way but I really wanted to complete the run because I wanted my finisher race tea and serves my medal so I decided to screw it. You know, just go for it anyway since I've really paid money for it. What you get? Easy. Still surviving. 5 km. We walked the whole km. No, we didn't. Really? About run to maybe 200 meters. Let's <laughs> go. <laughs> tired. Tired. I guess what I say about the runner's high is true because only after the 8km mark I started to feel my back straining again and I still managed to complete the half marathon even though my body after that was completely screwed for the next few days. So will I do this run again? I used to wonder why anyone would run at all or even worse, pay money to torture themselves running but after running my first actual half marathon I totally get it It's so easy to give up when you're running by yourself even for a short distance but when you're actually running together with other people you just don't feel like giving up at all like the thought didn't even cross my mind but if I could change anything on how to approach my runs in the future, I would probably incorporate a few more fun activities into my training plan instead of just running all day, you know, just to build stamina and endurance. I think when I first signed up for the run, I really wanted to set myself a goal, but at the same time, I wanted to have fun. And I feel like just running and not doing anything else in my training plan, you know, kind of takes the fun out of this whole experience. 
And also, I think you know, for people who have trained less than two months or even one month, I think these guys, you know, are just naturally sporty, and so I should have given myself more time to train, you know, just so I can have less injuries along the way. And I also think that maybe it would be nice if I could just change my route every once in a while, you know, just to have a different kind of scenery and different kind of view, which I think would make the running experience more enjoyable. So thanks for watching this video and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!